What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Jets' defense um, before we play against them this week. Um, I'm not going to go super crazy because we literally just played them a couple weeks ago. Um, and we handled it pretty decently. So, I'm, I'm again, I'm not going to go super crazy here. But I, I will kind of go over it and, you know, kind of take another look at what they did against us. Um, so, they're a 4-3 defense for the most part. They do some 4-2 uh, things as well. Um, when they're, you know, bringing in another DB. Uh, so, yeah, Sheldon Rankins is a pretty good nose tackle. Quinn and Williams could definitely hurt you with three-tech. Uh, Shaq Lawson is a pretty good as rusher. John Franklin Myers is all right. Uh, C.J. Mosley might not be what he was, but he's still a pretty solid player. Deshaun Phillips and Quincy Williams are all right, too. Um, Gerard Davis, that's interesting. Hobbs and Nazirladeen, sure, he can play Will. They should have him play in box safety, though. I'd, I'd let him play some Will as well. I'd let him do both. Um, their DBs are very, very beatable, though. Uh, Ashton Davis, Lyle Riley, Bryce Hall's I, uh, Brandon Eccles, I'm not really a fan. They got Rashad Wild Goose. Wasn't he in, um, wasn't he in Buffalo? Will it tell me if I click on his name? I, I, I could have sworn he was a Bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 cool. They drafted him in like, uh, they drafted him in day three, I, I thought. That's what I thought. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I am going to watch their film against us. Um, I know with, when I scouted their offense, I looked at their most recent game. But um, that doesn't really help us too much because the Saints offense is very, very different from ours. Um, especially with Taysom Hill at quarterback. Like, two was mobile, but nothing like that. So, I want to see what they looked like against us. Um, so, they are actually in cover three. They do do quite a bit of cover three. I don't know what's up with Game Pass today, but it is super blurry. I don't know what it is. It's just not working right. C certain plays are just outright missing as well. Um, but whatever. So we've got four down linemen. Like if I was the center, I would call this a 4-3. Like That looks like a DB. But as far as like the way you'd block it, you got four down linemen and then three linebackers, question mark. This guy's technically a DB. But as far as how you got to block him, you address him like a linebacker. So... How did we do that? Just nobody blocked him, okay. Just no one guarded him. Cool, hopefully we can do that some more. Like I said, their DBs are a little uh little soft. Little um little uneducated. They're very young. They have a very young defensive backcourt. That are very exploitable. We can have explosions like that on in the run game too. Again, I'm not expecting anything um, consistent, especially this week. Our our running back group is already not getting much success because uh, our blocking is bad. But also, um, with the whole COVID thing, it sounds like we're probably going to be without all three of our running backs. Uh, without um, Laird, Gaskin, or Ahmed, or um, Lindsey, not. Not Laird. I meant to say Lindsay. So yeah, four down linemen. You got two linebackers back there. They're in a nickel set. All right. Fair enough. They drop both their safeties back. This is more like a quarters thing. They do like to do some things with their safeties as well. Something we've seen from a lot of other teams. All right, man. Didn't want 
to play that play. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right? So, they make it look like there's two safeties deep, right? They almost make it look like a cover zero. Um, when you get a guy in motion, none of the guys follow him, so this reveals that it's zone coverage, right? Um, but they make it look like it's quarters or cover two if these corners come down, but it's actually cover three. Because um, when the ball is snapped, this safety is going to move back and be the single high, and this guy is going to crash down. So, look for them to do stuff like that. Um, is that Waddle? Yeah. So they've got a single high safety, but they got him more so on the left next to Waddle. Uh, don't be surprised if they have somebody else drop back real quick. Nope. Ooh. Who's that, Matt Collins? That might be a thing. So it sounds like they're a little bit afraid of Jalen Waddle, which makes sense. He's the most threatening player on our offense for sure. They don't really blitz a lot. They do mix in some blitzes, but they mostly just rush down their, their four linemen. So they, they're keeping their two safeties back. And also, it makes sense for them to do these types of things with us. Because, like, if you're going to keep a four-deep shell, I mean, it makes sense because we can't run the ball consistently. So you know they're, we're going to throw it a lot. So it makes sense to keep pe four people back. Now we're looking at a single high safety situation. They played quite a bit of zone against us. That's interesting. They usually play like a lot of man, but against us, they, they did a lot of zone. They're doing man now that they're in the goal line. Let me find a drive that has it's a little bit longer. There we go. Not trying to avoid the interception. I'm just trying to get a little bit longer drive so get a better look at what they're doing. Um, actually, you know what? No, we we got to look at that interception because I want to see uh, what caused it. Ugh. All right, let's take a look at this drive then. All right, we get Smythe in motion. Yeah, look for us to do this a lot too. Get guys in motion. But they're doing a lot of zone with like a four deep shell. They're doing a lot of quarters. And they are indeed dropping both their safeties back. Like I said though, it makes sense against us. We don't run the ball well. So... Just rushing four, four deep shot, yep. Well, if they're gonna do that, I am he all here for taking all this underneath shit.
Now they finally switch to man coverage. Is this is where the interception comes in. That's just a bad throw from Tua. Okay. More zone. This time it's more of a cover three. Now don't don't be surprised if we see a little bit more man coverage or something against them because obviously they lost, so they might not stick with the same game plan, but they also might. But they're doing a lot of zone against us. And they're not really blitzing much. They're like daring Tua to beat him with it with his arm. Got a single high safety, man to man coverage. Yeah, I need Tua to see that a little faster. This is man coverage, so you know crossing routes are gonna be effective. Yeah, he's he's gotta see that. We got two deep safeties. They do both drop back. So yeah, they're they're definitely keeping a shell up top. They're not really moving their safeties around as much. They still do it, but for the most part, they're keeping them them both back deep. It's really not anything too crazy. It's a lot of it's a lot of quarters. It's a lot of cover three. A little bit of cover two mixed in, but not much. I think they're just confident being able to stop the run with just their their D line, which I mean makes sense. Her D line's pretty pretty decent. They are going man to man coverage in certain situations though, but they're still not really blitzing with it. But again, they're getting pressure without having to blitz, so. Let's find like a. Let's watch this last drive and then we'll we'll call it. Because we're seeing a lot of the same things here. So now we're seeing some man single high safety. Get Waddle in motion. Not Waddle, but Gaskin rather. I. Agree, going to Waddle and man to man. Let your best route runner beat him. I still want another nuanced route runner. Yeah, they're playing some more man now. No, it's still it's still zone. They just made it look like man. Yeah, they started they started backpedaling last second. This is more like a cover three, more of a disguised cover three, but cover three nonetheless. They really didn't blitz a whole lot. They're just rushing four. I'm sorry, it's so blurry. By the way, Game Pass has been tripping today, man. 
I was scouting the Jets' offense before this. I'm recording them back to back, and like like I said, like they had entire play just outright missing. Good job stepping up in the pocket like that, though, Tua. I know that's not what we're looking at, but. Like I said, though, their, their, their front four is pretty solid. And C.J. Mosley can still hurt you at linebacker. Get that to Gaskin. Yeah, it's nothing super crazy. Still four people deep. Yeah, just playing quarters. Playing a lot of quarters against this. Just keeping four guys deep. Mix in some cover three and, you know, pull your safeties. Is this, nope, they make it look like cover two. No, it's still quarters. They're going to back their corners up last second. By the way, just in case you didn't know, let me go back. Like They're making this look like it's cover two because cover two would be more so like these safeties cover this area and this guy covers this area. And then the two corners kind of cover this section and this section. So they're making it look like this is a cover two. That's interesting what they're doing with their D linemen. They're kind of like all pushing them against that side. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, so they're making this look like a cover two, uh, but no, right before snap, they're both going to like slow pedal it back and nah, it's just quarters. But let me take a look at that D line real quick. So the second the ball is snapped, this defensive tackle, I can't tell if it's Quinn or, uh, Sheldon, but he's actually going to cross the face of the center so showing some man coverage now is this uh third down I'm pretty sure it is right yeah so it looks like on third downs they do they like to do man on third downs. It's not blitzing though. Yeah, so in this case, they make it look like cover two initially. But actually the corners are gonna slow pedal. This safety is going to come over to cover the middle of the field, and this safety is going to come down like right before snap. So it's actually cover three. So, yeah. A lot of zone. A lot of zone, not a lot of blitzes. Cover three. All right, so yeah, I think I think I'll wrap it up there. That that is interesting against a lot of other teams. The Jets seem to do a lot, a little bit more man coverage, but against us, they're doing a lot of quarters, a lot of cover three. Um, they're disguising things to look like cover two. Sometimes they do it, but not very often. Um, but they do seem to like to do man coverage sometimes in like third down situations. So kind of look out for that. They don't blitz a whole lot, but they will mix them in sometimes. Um, but it, it's a pretty straightforward defense. If we attack them underneath, we, we should be fine. Um, just use people like Waddle and uh, Kaseki who can get some yak. Same with like Albert Wilson and Smythe, and I think we'll be fine. Um, Devontae Parker is a known zone coverage beater, so I, I feel pretty confident, and I think our defense is going to shred them. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, it Leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.